Westfall and Holland in Dortmund and CBC's coverage of the 1994 World Team Gymnastics Championship. Scott Russell along with Carol Orchard. It is a team event, but one individual has a huge presence here. 22-year-old Vitaly Sherbo, the self-proclaimed bad boy of gymnastics who's been so good for so long. The gold medal has become a universal symbol of success. Vitaly Sherbo owns six from the Olympics, three more from the World Championships in Brisbane. But he thinks of the world title he lost. I try to think that I lost because my shoulder hurt. Yeah. But, you know, other side, you know, other side, Ivan was better than me in uh, those competitions. So, you know, but, you know, I don't like to to lose my, my, you know, my honor, my proud in my soul. Better to pass it on to the worthy Ivan Ivankov. Sherbo's teammate is the new champion. He treads lightly in Vitaly's shadow. Both are from Belarus, a surviving republic of the Soviet Union. It can be a dangerous and desperate place, so Sherbo fled. I feel more comfortable and my family feel more comfortable in the United States because when I do gymnastics exhibition and competition around the world, I don't worry about my family because I know that any time they can find the food, any time they can find gasoline, and any time my friends from the United States can help them. And I have everything in the United States even money. <laughs> the master and his protege come together at international competitions. Sherbo and baby Sherbo, some would say. Тренироваться может быть и не трудно будет, но с ним как-то веселее. Он более эмоциональный. Он может развеселить команду, где-то подзадорить. То есть, you know, I try to leave someone after me in gymnastics, and not only in Belarus just for the for the role of the world and Ivan it's uh, I, I think it's a uh, you know lonely guy who can repeat my achievements or you know he can do something more than I did or you know he's a very good gymnast and I like him and I want him to be good but only after me the ultimate confidence of Vitaly Sherbo, and he is proving that he is still very much at the top of his game. And Carol, this is his event, the floor exercise. Oh, it certainly is, and he's proving it right there. Beautiful full twisting double back in the laid out position. Slight hop on the landing. Nice, original line. There he's doing a round of whip, one and a half to front layout, showing off a little flexibility. Reigning world champion in the floor exercise. Claimed that crown in Brisbane, Australia. Sherbo's a very confident worker. He takes his time, always in total control, getting a couple of extra bonus points for that front layout full twist. Now, he's going to rest in the corner, like most men do in the scale, but he's known for incredible stuck landings, and he's left the double layout to the last line. Final pass for Vitaly Sherbo, and then the landing. Oh, yes. There it is, traditional stuck landing, as you mentioned, by Vitaly Sherbo, the former world champion, and he's delivered again on the floor. We're going to take a look at his second pass, initiated from a single step, developing tremendous power. There's the whip back, the one and a half to an immediate rebounding front layout. Scott, that's why he's the world champion. Classic Vitaly Sherbo on the floor exercise. And he scores a 9-5-2-5. Another confident result for Belarus as they try to move up from fifth position after two rotations. Well, leading away, the Russians, Alexei Voropayev, as we move over to the rings in this competition. The 21-year-old year from Moscow. Again, a gold medalist, 92 in Barcelona. Gorgeous Maltese. Alexei is a strong ring worker. It's a requirement to show those static strength moves, but he's also got to show press to handstands like that one. Beautiful inverted cross. 
keeping the rings so still is incredibly difficult as he lowers down to another impeccable Maltese. That's also a requirement. Swing up to handstand. Key with the rings is to keep them as still as possible. No movement if possible. There's the final move in the dismount, stuck by Alexei Voropaya. Little movement of the rings there, but he tries to kick it right into the dismount. Slight pike. Just a little low on the landing, but you're right. He stuck it cold. Nine, five, eight, seven. Remember, the men will not score those nine nines as the women's do. Great result for Borapaya. Huang Huadong of China, 22 years old. Silver medal at the World Championships in 1991 in the team event, so plenty of international experience. He's got some big moves planned for this P-bar routine, and he gets to it right off the bat. There it is, double back, right out of a giant. Little trouble with an extra swing there, but he does it so well, he throws one more. Those release skills, amazing on the P-bars. You talked about that becoming the rule now in P-bar competition. Heading into a scoot, right into double pike. Little step on the landing, but double pike is a lot more difficult to do than a simple double tuck. China in a fight with Russia for first position here in the team championships. Here we see his double back, which is also called a morisu, named after a Japanese gymnast. Hangs on nicely. Wang Huadong of China now waiting for the result, and it's a 9 3 7 5. So the Chinese are continuing to leave themselves open to an attack by Russia here in Dortmund. And by Ukraine, a powerhouse which includes Igor Korobchinsky, 25 years old, second all around at the European Championships in Prague in June. And we'll see him on the high bar. Korobchinsky is a good high bar worker. He tends to be a Tkachev specialist. There's one. And again, he's on his third. Four touches in a row. Unbelievable release skills by Igor Korobchinsky of Ukraine. Got a great routine going. Now, a release move is a special requirement. He, he just makes it look easy for the judges by jam-packing four of them together. Great dismount. Hopelessly double layup. What a great international resume for Igor Korobchinsky. 1989 all-around world champion from Stuttgart and flying high on the high bar. Here we get a great view of the amplitude. He gets up over that bar as he releases. These are his first two Tkachev in a straight body pike position. Gorgeous. 9-6 for Igor Korobchinsky as he marches on to his next event. A move being made by China at the midway point. They are now into the lead, but only slightly over Russia. Belarus on the strength of Vitaly Sherbo is continuing to chase the leaders. When we return to Dortmund, rotation four and the Olympic silver medalist hunt for gold. That is Westfall and Holland, the second time this arena has hosted a championship. As rotation four begins, the word from Evgeny Shabayev on what he believes the outcome of this battle for gold might be. <laughs> Будем стараться. А так мы никогда ничего не загадываем. Надеемся на свои силы. Shabayev now for Russia on the vault. Getting set for a very difficult vault. There it is. Super hard double twist. And look at that landing. Russia should be able to make up ground on China on the vault. All the Russians very strong in the air. Very strong indeed. Now watch him bump up off the horse. Completes two twists, sees the landing, and just nails it. Shabayev, the champion at the Sopery Shop in Hamilton earlier. 9-5-8-7 for Shabayev and Russia on this vault. And now the reigning world all-around champion, Ivan Ivankov, only 19 years old. We talked about him being the baby Sherbo. What an outstanding competitor he is. This is a strength event, the pommel horse. It usually is a very good event for him, and he wants to make a comeback here. He was disappointed after his compulsories. He fell off on Palma Horse. Very uncharacteristic for Ivan. He's working this routine well. 
The nice thing about Ivan is he has gorgeous extension, good speed, nice flare work there. Working the entire horse. The men have to show elements over the entire horse, but especially two difficult B elements on each end. Breaking into his scissor work, that's a requirement. Oh, he's got it. Nice routine by Ivan Ivankov. And the duration of the routine was such that it will score well with the judges. And there's the reaction from the bench of Belarus. This is a gorgeous view of Ivan's extension and amplitude. Some really nice flared work here. And all in all, an excellent routine. 9525 for Ivan Ivankov, the reigning European and world champion. And speaking of world champions, the 1994 world champion on the parallel bar, Wang Peng of China, 21 years old. China now on the high bar, and they have to score well to keep their lead. They are out in front at the midway point. Well, this is a great event for them to do it on, Scott. China is excellent on high bar. They have a nice smooth rhythm, lots of amplitude, nice hop full into a Tukacha. Well done. Lots of intricate hand changes, another hop full into a high flying touch of immediate ginger. The coach stepped in there but really didn't have to. He's in full control. <laughs> Incredible dismount. Great air time. All kinds of release skills in that routine for Wang Li Peng of China should score well. Now watch this dismount. He is lifting up as he initiates a second salto. Impeccable form, even in slow motion. 9-6-5, and that will help China in their battle for Russia for this team gold medal in Dortmund. The Germans, well, one of their imports, Marius Toba, originally of Romania, now lives in Hanover, 26 years old, one of the veterans. He's the 1994 German national champion, so great status on this team. He's on the P-bars. This isn't one of his better events, that's for sure, but he's got a nice stock routine. Single salto there. You see, struggling a little bit, trying to not take any extra steps with those hand placements. Into a double pike dismount. This step is definitely going to cost him. Germans were in second place after the compulsory competition, but they're struggling here. This is a Keeley twirl, and he's going to toss this right into a front salto which is nice, but most of the international stars now are doing double saltos, so more would be expected from Toba to get a higher score. 26-year-old Marius Toba now with Germany, 9-2-7-5 on the parallel bars. That'll be difficult to help Germany move up. Former world champion Grigory Masutin, 24 years old of Ukraine, over to the floor exercise and I watched him win the floor exercise gold medal at the 1993 World Championships in Birmingham, England. He's a great floor worker. Oh, just gorgeous. Great form, beautiful air time. Oh, struggling on that landing, but he doesn't go out of bounds, and that's important. This is a front tumbling line, big bonus there. A lot of men are doing the front layout, front layout, front full to get those bonus points. Now watch this. Strength is no longer a requirement on floor, but hey, when you're that good at it, Put it in. Tremendous control. Ukraine, a favorite coming into this team championships. They have to do a little work now to get into the medal hunt, the gold medal hunt with Russia and China. Now he comes from the former Soviet Union training, which included classical ballet, and you can see it right there. Gorgeous form, nicely held scale as he gets ready for the last tumbling line. Oh, great double layout. And the dude in the last line is so incredible. Former world champion Gregory Masutin of Ukraine. And one more look. In slow motion, it's great. You can see the muscles really working there, developing the speed, getting in the power, working out of the back handspring. And there is that absolutely huge double layout. Tremendous form. He keeps the position all the way through and fight for that landing. Just a little hop, but Masutin scores well, a 9-5-7-5 on the floor exercise. After four rotations, there has been a change in the lead. China was strong on the high bar, but Russia has vaulted to greater heights to claim first spot overall. Belarus continues to move towards a medal. 
Up next, the next to last rotation as the World Championships continue on CBC.